Welcome to XFX Tips and Tricks. In this episode, we're going deeper into the seams options. Hi, I'm Max Hayes from the band Psychedelic. Today, we're going a little deeper into the seams option of the XFX. Since I bought the MFC 101, I had to rethink how to use the pedal board with the XFX. I didn't think themes was something for me before using the Rockton All Access, but now I've found that it works very well for me to use the scenes. So I've set up my pedal board so that I only use the four scenes on the four buttons now. The fifth button I use as a momentary switch for effects that I just want to be in when I press the pedal and then turn off when I release the pedal. So I've set my MFC to bank size zero. So the first four buttons will not switch any presets anymore. I will toggle between the presets using the up and down buttons on the right instead. So now each preset have four scenes options to choose from. By subscribing, you won't miss any of my weekly XFX tips and tricks videos. One great thing with scenes is the options to set different values to the same effect or amp blocks depending on what scenes you're using. To do this, we need to go to the controller options on the left. Here we will go to the scene options. Here you can see that you have two rows of knobs to choose from. This means that for your first scene you can set two different controllers and two for scene two and so on. This will clear a little bit more when I show you how to use them. As an example we will use it with an amp block right now. So we will open the amp block. If we want to have different volumes within the different scenes then we will right click over the level knob. We will choose scene two as our source. Now we've set it so that whatever value we choose within the scenes option in the controller option, it will use those values for the scenes you choose. So now you need to toggle between your different scenes and set the right values for the knobs to get it to work like you want it to. We can also use it for a delay effect or any other effect. Maybe you want the delay mix to be higher on one of your scenes for example. Then we can use the scene 1 row of buttons in the scene options in the controller menu. For this we will go to the delay block that we want to use. We will right click over the mix knob. We will choose scene 1 as our source. Then after this you need to do the same steps that you did with the volume on the amp block. So toggle between the different scenes and set your desired value. One thing that I've noticed is that it's a little bit different to use the scene knobs on an amp block than it is on an effect block. If you use it for volume on an amp block then 100% is as high as your volume goes. So you might have to set that for around 80 to 85% maybe. But when using it on an effect block sometimes setting it on 100% is what you've set the value on that knob on before. So if you set the rate knobs to 55 on a tremolo block, then you need to set the scene knobs to 100% so that it will go all the way up to 55%. So set the highest value that you want to use it for on the effect block. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and please help me make these videos by subscribing to this channel so I can make more weekly XFX tips and tricks videos in the future. I would really appreciate if you help me out by liking and sharing this video on the internet. Because as you know, sharing is caring. And as always folks, use it for good, not for evil.